Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of one variable equations. This is standard 8.8c .8 in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 38 of the 2024 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we need to simply find the value of x that makes this equation true. And so we've got two options, right? If we wanted to, we could just plug and play. We could take each of these values, 7, negative 21, negative 1, 3, plug them into the three spots where we see an x, simplify, and see which one makes a true equation. Not the most efficient way, because if it ends up happening to be D, we're having to do a whole lot of math before we get through A, B, and C. So let's solve it by just isolating the variable, and then we'll plug and play just to verify. So 2x plus 9 minus 4x equals x minus 12. Our goal here is to isolate x. We want to get x by itself. So first off, take a look on this left side. I've got two x's right here. I need to combine these two x's. So what I want to do is I want to rewrite this so that we get these next to each other, right? I'm just going to use the commutative property to kind of flip the order of those two. So 2x minus 4x plus 9. All right, so now I can look at those two. So 2x minus 4x, that's going to get me a negative 2x, and that's fine. And then I've got a plus 9 still. And so it's a little bit simpler, right? I've got two terms on each side, but now I need to get the x's together. Now, what I'm going to end up wanting is a positive x. So I could subtract x from both sides to get rid of that minus, that positive x. But I'm going to want a positive x at the end. So let me just go ahead and add 2x to both sides. What that's going to do is that's going to cancel that out over here. And that's going to end up getting me a 9 equals. I've got an x plus 2x. That's 3x. And then a minus 12. Now, I've got a 3x all together on its own. That's fine. I need to get that minus 12 out of there. So I'm going to use the inverse operation. All right, that's going to add 12 to both sides. And so we are going to end up with 3x, and then that's going to be a 21. And that's it, because that cancels out. So 3x is going to equal 21. Now we need to divide both sides by 3. That's going to isolate that x. 3, 3. All right, so it looks like we're getting x equals 7. Now, how do we verify? And we would have got it on the first one if we would, were to guess and check. But let's go ahead and plug this in. All right, so 2x plus 9 minus 4x equals x minus 12. Let's just replace each of these x's with a 7. And we're going to do a plus 9 minus 4. That x is 7. And what we're looking for are... Uh, two expressions on each side that are equal to each other. And then we get an x minus 7. Or a 7, excuse me, minus 12. All right, so 2 times 7 is 14, plus 9, minus, and then we've got a 4 times 7. That gets you your 28. And then 7 minus 12 is minus 5. So now all we're doing is simplifying, right? So all of this should equal minus 5. So uh, let's just add these first two first. 14 and 9, right? that's going to make 23 minus 28 equals 5. And we do see that, look at that, 23 minus 28 is going to get us negative 5. So the fact that we have a true statement here, negative 5 equals negative 5, means that when we make x equals 7, that makes the equation true. That's what we're looking for. So that is going to be our answer, A, 7.